Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetri. Today we'll see one other PLS scale real time use case that is electricity bill payment. Okay, so if you see the requirement, so if you open the phone pay, if I want to pay the payment, pay the electricity bill, so we need to enter USNM that is unique service number. So when you give the USN number, so we need to give the USN number, then we need to get what? So we'll get the based on the USN number, we'll get the customer name and what is the bill amount and what is the due date. Okay, see the requirement one more time. So we need to pass the USN number. If you pass the USN number, we need to get the following details like what is the customer name, what is the bill amount, and what is the due date. Oh, this requirement is clear. Okay. So if you see here, suppose if already paid, we need to get what? No bill due. Or suppose like current month has already paid, we need to get display like no bill due. Okay. So this requirement is clear. Okay. Now, if I want to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept like select statement that is data retrieval language, DDL, DML, TCL. These are SQL statement, you should be aware of it. And count and a great function. Filtering concept like where into class if else. That is for conditional statement. You should know what's a procedure and how to write a procedure in and out parameters. So anonymous block to execute the procedure. So if you know this concept, it would be easy to understand the requirement. Let us discuss few of the concepts. So count is an aggregate function. If you see, this is my table. Select count of stars from electricity bill. It will give two records, but I'm using where USA number equals to all ones. Okay, see, seven ones are there. So what we'll get, like count will be one and payment status equals to five. We'll get one record, okay. In a similar fashion, if you see, what is procedure? Procedure is nothing but create or replace procedure, procedure name as begin dbms output dot put line hello world. Okay, so this is sample procedure. Okay, so dbms output is used to see the result on the console. So it's a simple procedure. Okay, you should know what is a procedure and how to write a procedure. This is a syntax of a procedure. So using anonymous block, okay, if you see begin. How to execute a procedure by using anonymous block and able to execute by using anonymous block. So begin procedure name end. So that will get the output hello world. Hope this procedure concept is clear. Okay. In a similar fashion, we'll see if and end if. So this is nothing but conditional statement. So create or replace procedure, procedure name as begin. So if 100 is greater than 50, then we need to display like 100 is greater than 50. Else we need to display 50 is greater than 100. Okay, this is a conditional statement. Okay. So if see if condition is true, it will go to this block. If condition is true, it will go to this, this section. Okay. So this is a simple conditional statement. Now what happens is that condition is true, we'll get the output like how can I exit by using anonymous block. So begin procedure name and so this is nothing but anonymous block, execution of anonymous block. You see here. So 100 is greater than 50. Now we'll see the actual requirements. Okay, we'll discuss one more time. But the requirement is so if you see, I want to enter the ESN number. We need to enter the USN number. So based on the US number, we'll get the details like what is the customer name, what is the bill amount, what is the due date. Okay. So input is nothing, is nothing but what US number or will be following parameters. So if it is pay, if it is already paid, we need to display like no bill due. Okay. So this is input. Input is US number. Output is like this. So if it is already paid, we need to say like no bill due. Okay. I hope this is re requirement is clear. For this requirement, we need to create one table. So table name is electricity bill. It is having US number. Customer name, amount, bill date, due date, payment status. So we'll insert some records like insert some dummy data preparation like like all ones, seven months are there, username is Pravin, amount is 938, 11th October is bill date, and due date is 20 October 2022. And payment status, if you see the payment status, it is in end status. So TCL, because DMLs are not auto commit, we need to commit them explicitly. So by using commit. So I'm preparing one table some data inserted and committed those transactions. Now I'm fetching the record, select star from LX table, we'll get the following. Suppose like in this table, two records are there. All ones, seven ones are there, seven twos are there. So one is payment and one is payment not done. So now we'll write the procedure. So create or replace procedure, procedure name. So your input is what? Input is USN number and rest of them sir, output, out parameters. So if you see here, input is what? ESN number. If I pass the ESN number, I need to get customer name, amount, what is the bill amount, and what is the due date, and we'll display the message, okay. So I'm using one local variable, L count. So in, remember one more time, input is ESN number. So we need to display like four out parameters. Now I'm 
counting this. Okay, by, by using a rate function, I'm getting the results from electricity bill where ES and M are equal to. Actually, we need to pass here uh, ESN number. By mistake, it has been happened. Okay. So we need to mention ESN number. If L count equal to zero, then invalid ESN number. Okay. In a sense, like what? I'll explain one more time. So I'll explain this conditional statement. So if it's here, we need to pass here ESN number typo. It's a typo mistake. So when I pass the ESN number, we if the count equal to zero in the sense like what? There is no ESN number. So valid, there, it's an invalid ES number. Suppose if L count equal to one in the sense like what? This ESN number is available in the database. That is electricity bill table. Okay, so if L count equal to one in the sense like what? So we need to display the customer name. What is the customer name? What is the amount? What is the due date? Okay, based on the particular ESN number and payment status equals to year. Hope this is clear. So I'm check before checking this thing, I'm counting the results. Like so I'm taking the count function based on the USA number. I'm checking whether the particular USA number is there or not. So if USA number is there, what happened? This count will be one. Suppose if USA number is not there, then count will be equal to zero. So zero equal to zero, then what? This condition is transferred, then invalid US number. Hope this is clear. So I'm writing exception, like when no data phone, I'll go to the P message, no penny use. So and this is the exception I'm using, no data phone exception. So I'll explain here. So here P US number is there, we can able to get here. So if you see here, here input is what? Input is US number. So if I pass the USA number, it's nothing but, okay, USA number, I need to get four output, that is customer name, amount, due date, okay. So if you see here, if I pa I'm passing the USA number here, for this USA number, what happened? If the count equal to zero in the sense like what? This USA number is not there in the database, in the sense like, it's an invalid, invalid USA number. Hope this is clear one more time, see. If the LS, if USA number is different, that is correct, this number is different USA number, then what? The count will be zero. When the count equal to zero in the sense like what? This US number is not in the database. Then you can say P message as invalid US number. This is the first requirement. Second requirement is that second requirement is that we need to check whether the whether the, any pending dues are there or not. Okay. So I'm passing US number. I'm putting the status as n. Payment status n equal to n in the sense like what? The payment is not done for this particular US number. So if payment is not done, what happened? We need to store this result into P customer name, P amount, P due due date. So if you see, second condition is what? If if it is a valid USA number, I need to check any pending transaction, like pending payments are done on pending payments are there or not. Okay. So how can I figure out by using payment status equal to N? So if payment status equal to N in the sense like what? So we need to check any, any pending transactions are there or not. So how can I figure out by using parsing USA number and payment status equal to N? So that what will get the output like P customer name, P amount, and Q date. Okay. Suppose if, if count equal to one, but no pending transaction, then what happened? No? Then you can say no data phone. That is no data phone in the sense like we'll get exception. So no pending views are there. So in the sense like if it's a valid valid USA number, but no pending dues are there, then what happened? We'll get no data phone exception. So this one we handle by using exception law when no data phone. So P message is no pending dues are there, particular USA. Oh, this is clear. Before checking, we need to check whether it's a valid USA number or not. If it is valid, we need to check whether pending dues are there or not. If it is due, if dues are there, we need to display the due amount. If it is not there, we need to display like no pending dues are there. Hope this requirement is clear. Now we need to execute this procedure. So these are the local variables I'm using name, amount, due date, message, LC details, proc, DBMS output to see the result on the console. So if you see here, I'm using local variables like our params name, amount, due date, message. So this is our table, US number, customer, okay, you see, seven months are there, so seven months are there. Now what happened? Payment status equal to N. So in the sense like we need to display, display the output like username, Praveen, amount, pending amount, and due date. Due date is 25th October, 20. So like this is a valid scenario. We'll see second more, seven more case. One more scenario that is. So these are the local variables I'm declaring, I'm executing by using anonymous block. So this is the USA number. For displaying purpose, we make so DVMS output. So message and 
So if you see, this is our table. If it's here, all twos, what happened? Its payment status is five. So then we'll get no data for an exception. That we need to make sure like no pending dues are there. So if I use this one, no pending dues are there. So because if you see here, already payments are done by this ESA number. So then we'll get no pending dues are there. Okay. So one more scenario we'll see. So execute processor by using anonymous block. So these are the four variables we are declaring local variables. Procedure name. It's to see the result. So DBMS used to see the result. Okay. So if you see here what happened, you know, assume uh, we have prepared only two records, all se seven months, seven twos. But if you see seven threes are there. Now tell me what happened. If you see here, this is what? This is an invalid USN number. So if you see, so this is not a valid. Okay. So because it is not in, the, in this LXTable table. Okay. Oh, this is clear. This is a negative scenario. So we need to handle by using count functionality. Okay. Oh, this is clear. So if it is not valid, we need to mention like invalid USN. So when you're writing anything, we should follow coding standards. Like parameter should be like P underscore parameter. So P USN number, P message. Local variables like L underscore local variable, like local variable. In a similar fashion, function, processor, pack, in it. Like we need to give in a proper, like you see, electricity details proc. So by using this, we can say it's a processor of electricity details. Okay. Hope this is clear. Like from now on to number seventh onwards, a new batch is going to start. If you're interested, interested, like please reach out this number. Okay. So if any doubts, you can able to reach out this number. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.